This is the installation video for White Rogers 36J22214 combination gas valve. Designed with our most compact footprint and versatile range, this valve is an excellent choice for easy installation and setup. The kit includes materials needed to replace a fast opening combination gas valve used in common direct spark and hot surface ignition systems for single stage fast opening applications. The box includes a 920659 LP gas conversion kit, a 920983 reducer bushing kit, a 36J22214 combination gas valve, a safety and operation adhesive label, and step-by-step -step instructions for easy installation. First, ensure power and gas are disconnected prior to servicing the unit. Remove the access panel. Check the part number on the existing gas valve and verify it can be replaced with the 36J22214 gas valve kit. Use the cross-reference table on the side of the carton or the White Rogers mobile app. Take a picture of the existing valve for reference before removing any wires. Disconnect and remove the two 24-volt wires from the old valve. To remove the existing gas valve, disconnect the gas line from the furnace and remove the inlet pipe, making sure the valve is secure during the process. Take note of the old valve orientation before removing. Determine if the existing valve can be spun off while in place. Use caution not to bend the manifold brackets by securing a wrench on the manifold prior to removing the existing valve. In some applications, the gas manifold must be removed. Remove the manifold bracket screws, allowing the valve and manifold to be removed together. The existing valve can now be removed and discarded. The 36J22214 regulator comes set up for natural gas. For liquid petroleum gas conversion, use the included White Rogers 920659 LP gas conversion kit. Follow the conversion instructions included in the kit. For this application, natural gas is used so no conversion is needed. Clean the manifold threads and apply pipe joint compound that is approved for all gases only to the male threads of the manifold. Do not apply the compound to the first two threads. In some applications, the existing pipe is 3 8 diameter. Use the supplied half-inch to 3 8 bushing kit to properly adapt by installing them on the pipe prior to connecting the gas valve, applying pipe joint compound as directed. The 36J22214 may be installed in any position. The arrow on the plate indicates the direction of the gas flow. With the arrow pointing toward the manifold, hand start the 36J22214 to prevent cross-thread. Use a vise or open-end wrench to hold the valve while tightening. Do not tighten excessively, as this may damage the valve. If the manifold was removed, reinstall the manifold, making sure the burner orifices are correctly aligned in the burners and the burners are correctly placed and directed towards the heat exchanger. If the 36J22214 still needs to be rotated for proper alignment, secure a wrench on the manifold prior to making any final adjustment. The inlet pipe is now ready to be reconnected. Always use pipe that is properly chamfered, reamed, and is free of burrs and chips. Use new pipe when questionable. If reusing the existing piping, be sure it's clean and free of rust, scale, burrs, chips, and old pipe joint compound. Apply pipe joint compound that is approved for all gases only to the male threads of the pipe joints. Do not apply the compound to the first two threads. Hand start the inlet piping, taking care not to cross thread. Use a vise or open end wrench to hold the valve while installing piping. Do not tighten excessively as this may damage the valve. All piping must comply with local codes, ordinances, and or national fuel gas codes. Always clean the drip leg prior to reinstalling it. Make sure a manual gas shutoff and gas inlet drip leg is properly installed. Refer to the installation instructions for typical gas piping. Reconnect the two 24 volt wires to the 36J22214 to the two quarter inch spades on the new valve. If needed, verify by using the equipment manufacturer's wiring diagram or Refer to the installation instructions for an illustration showing terminal identification. The system is now ready to be tested. 
Following the instructions supplied with the gas valve, prepare the gas valve for gas pressure testing. With gas and electrical power still off, identify the outlet pressure post, sometimes called a tower, labeled OUT-P, and back the outlet pressure test screw out one quarter to one half a turn. The post accepts a 5 16th hose connection. If needed, a White Rogers F921003 adapter kit can be purchased separately. The kit includes a quarter inch to 5 16th barbed adapter, a 3 32nd Allen wrench for the post set screws, a 5 16th hose, and easy to follow instructions. Use an adapter kit to attach a gas manometer to the outlet pressure post. Turn on the gas to the unit. Check the gas piping for leaks. Now power the system on by reconnecting the electric power to the unit. Make sure the door switch is engaged and the gas valve is on. Locate the gas pressure table on the equipment and verify the correct outlet pressure. To verify gas manifold pressure, make a call for heat. If adjustment is necessary, remove the regulator cover screw from the pressure regulator post and adjust. Turn the regulator's plastic adjustment screw clockwise to increase pressure or counterclockwise to decrease pressure. If the outlet pressure cannot be correctly set, the inlet pressure should be checked. Turn off the gas and electric. Remove the gas manometer from the outlet post and reinstall it on the inlet pressure post, following the same steps of loosening the pressure tap screw one quarter to one half a turn open. Make sure the outlet pressure tap screw is retightened and secure before turning the gas, electric, and system back on. Turn on the gas and electric and verify the inlet pressure is adequate according to the equipment nameplate. Once the inlet pressure is verified, the steps can be repeated to properly set the outlet or manifold pressure. Make sure the inlet pressure tap screw is retightened and secure before turning the gas, electric, and system back on. Once the gas pressure is set, finalize any additional test desired and terminate the call for heat. Turn power and gas back off. Replace the regulator cover screw. Disconnect the gas manometer and turn the outlet pressure test screw clockwise to seal the pressure port. Restore the electrical power and gas to the unit. Make a call for heat and wait for the gas valve to be energized. Check for leaks, including the regulator and outlet pressure post. Bubbles forming indicate a leak. Should a leak be indicated, shut off gas and fix all leaks immediately. Finalize any work and terminate the call for heat. Secure any loose wires. Place the included safety and operation adhesive label on the furnace. Reinstall the access panels. Service of HVAC equipment should only be performed by a licensed and properly trained technician. Failing to follow all applicable standards of operation and maintenance, including applicable codes and manuals, can result in potential hazards, including but not limited to electrocution and fire. The 36J22214 combination gas valve for direct spark and hot surface ignition system applications are available wherever White Rogers products are sold. Be prepared. Stock White Rogers gas valves for quick and easy repairs. Thanks for watching this White Rogers installation video. For more information, visit copeland.com forward slash 36J series.